Well, Jean, I'm just going to take a little video of um, Hilperton. I just thought you uh, wanted some pictures, and I'll take pictures as well. I thought we'd take a little video. This is where we live, down this little um, lane here, and you've seen pictures of our house before. And I did, I've done a video of here, haven't I? This is the little close where we live, Ashton Rise. And you can see the stripes, I hope, on the grass here where I mow it every week. So yes, Ashton Rise. Again, you see, which is the, you see the grass over there which I mow. And from here, it's just a short walk down to the, sort of the high street, which is down here, you can see in the distance, and into the village. So that's the end of Ashton Road. Uh, Ashton Rise is just off that. So I've just walked um, 50 yards or so down. If I gently pan around here, see it's quite old-fashioned looking house here. Quite, you know, the village goes back to, well, it was mentioned in the Doomsday Book. And in the distance you can see sort of the centre of the village and our village pub, which is the Lion and Fiddle. So not far for me to walk. Sometimes I meet my friends there on a Thursday evening for a drink. So here we are at the Lion and Fiddle, and there's a little roundabout here, in the centre of the village, the old part of the village. You see some very old houses here, including one which is called the Old Toll um, Bridge. There would have been a toll um, here for people, for horses and carts passing through. This is the Devizes Road. So here I am on the roundabout, so that direction is, is Trowbridge. And here's the Lion and Fiddle again from the other side. Here's the roundabout. And would you believe, just across the road, we still have our original village stocks. No one's been in there for many a year, but they're still there. And heading down into the village, this is Church Street, and it leads down to the church, as you'd expect, and then eventually to the village hall. So as we go down the street, you can see quite a lot of older houses. I mean, the majority of the, of the, of the older houses were probably built Sort in the in the 17th and 1800s, I suppose. So this is one of the older houses. It's a nurse. It's called uh, nursery. The nurseries, because it was obviously the nursery where plants and things were grown. But what's happened over the years is that um, you can see there's nursery close here. The land that's behind has been sold off, and some lovely, you know, very nice houses have been built there, including one that belonged to Steve and Denise, our good friends. And that's really the story as you go along. Older houses along the the, the main re, um, high street, but then newer uh, properties built behind. So here's another example as we go along. The wall you can see there is of Hilperton House, which is a very grand house in Hilperton. Um, but you can see they've sold a bit of their garden. I mean, it's still got a huge garden left. And you've got then St Michael's Close, which is some modernish um, houses, nice houses, probably built at the same time as our Close, sort of sometime in the 70s. Oops, sorry. Oh, there we are. So a bit further down, um, opposite Hilperton House, is our War Memorial. I mean, as you know, every village in, in the UK has a War Memorial. And next door to it, our old lock-up, where uh, felons were locked up who were causing a nuisance. Still in place. So I've walked around the corner, and this is Hilperton House, which is a magnificent house. Uh, I've got a tennis court, which I sometimes play tennis. And around here is our church, St Michael's where, you know, you've seen me playing the organ. And next door to it is what used to be the old schoolhouse. And indeed, right at the top in that little towery thing is the old school bell. I don't know whether this will come out. I'll see whether you can see that. So yes, this is at Michael's Church where I play the organ some Sundays. No hymns allowed at the moment, unfortunately, though. A peaceful spot. And then just behind the church, we're fortunate at the moment anyway, we still have this, uh, this lovely field. And we're looking after a little dog, Tilly. We used to walk here every day. So you can hear the traffic in the distance from the main road. But this is a lovely spot where, you know, we, we come to walk and just get some fresh air. So the countryside around is typically English, you know, green and the usual trees that you expect to see. Doesn't mean we get rain, mind you. In fact, it's just starting to rain now. You can just see the church tower in the distance. 
and just walked up the hill up Church Street and some more old quite quaint cottagey type places here and then now we're looking down Hill Street this is the old post office but it's now a residential place and this is Wadden Lane which leads down to Wadden with an old church down there uh, and just down here on the left, oh, sorry on the right, about 50, 50 yards or so is the village hall where I spend a lot of my time so this is our village hall not the prettiest of buildings but very functional yes the building was rebuilt after the second world war uh, it has been extended a bit since then and the main hall inside is quite big and then there's this side lounge on the side here which has an outside sitting area for the sun a children's play area down the far end Yes, yeah, so there's a children's play area down the end there, and a re really nice one too. And then we've got this big expanse of playing fields. And in the season, which is going to start in a few weeks' time, there'll be some football posts either end. And there's a football team, a few, actually a couple of football teams who play here. But we're very lucky we have this uh, space. And this tree here, and the other one behind that's got a little cage around it, I planted a couple of years ago. And we've got some additional money, and so I look after these trees and give them some water in the summer and make sure they're okay. So a lot of my time is spent here, um, and I feel it's worthwhile. It's a, it's a facility that's used by so many people in the village. Well, that's it really for Hill Paterna. I mean, it's, it's, it goes on for more than this because, like many places, you've got um, uh, new housing estates that have sprung up on the outside. But you've seen the, the core of the village. Um, and it's not exactly a picture perfect place, but you know, we, we're very happy here and surrounded by countryside and overall a very nice place to live. Well, here we are, Jean. We're back at um, Ashton Rise after our short little tour of Hilton. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will send you the link. And I hope you'll be able to view this video online. Much love. Hi, Oreo. Meow. Oh.